Welcome to our Pangupta channel. If you have still not subscribed the channel then subscribe it and do not forget to press bell button to get future videos notifications. What is convolutional neural network? Convolutional neural network is one of the kind of neural network architectures, its architecture is different than feed-forward neural network. This architecture mimics the connections of neurons in the human brain. This network takes an input image and assign weights to feature in the image to output the predictions. The usefulness of CNN lies in the ability to learn features from the images automatically without taking help of hand-engineered features. So basically broadly speaking we have input layer, then set of middle layers and then output layer. Input layer takes input image. Set of middle layer have layers of features extracted from the images and output layer is the predicted layer. How CNN is better than feed-forward neural network for image classification or images in general. The images has pixels in it. The pixels are not independent of each other. Any object detail present in the images is collection of pixels. So pixels in images has spatial dependencies which can only be done by CNN architecture. We will see how. How computational power is saved through CNN for images. An RGB image has three images red, green, and blue which are also called channels. Consider a 216 by 216 RGB images. It has total of 216 multiplied by 216 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 139,968 pixels. With simple feed-forward neural network it will be very difficult to process so many features at a time due to lack of computational power. So here comes CNN which will reduce the images into forms which will be easier to model to get final predictions. Basically CNN removes the noise from the data and thus reduce the data size. Terminology in CNN. The important terms in CNN are convolutional layer, pooling layer, fully connected layer. In relation to convolution layer there are more terms like filter, filter size, padding, stride, we will talk about each now. Important layers in CNN architectures. The middle set of layers are mostly either convolutional layer or pooling layer. What is convolutional layer? RGB image is read as a 3D matrix, height by width by depth. The convolutional layer makes use of a set of learnable filters. A filter is used to detect the presence of specific features or patterns present in the input image. How does convolution layer helps? Convolution is done to extract the high-level features such as edges and curvatures from the input image. The first layers in set of middle layers involves convolutional layer which helps in capturing the low-level features such as edges and color etc. Subsequent layers in the set of middle layers captures high-level features which gives broader understanding of objects in the images. What is filter or kernel in convolutional layer? Kernel or filter is shown in the middle. Basically it is a matrix which moves over the input image as shown in left. Each element in the kernel multiply with corresponding element in original image at any instant and then adds all these value to get values like 114,328, minus 26 as shown in right. The filter moves to the right with a certain stride value till it passes the complete width until the entire image is traversed. What is convolved feature map or activation map? The output image after the filter has moved across the input image is called convolved feature, then convolved feature is passed through some activation function like than, sigmoid, relu, etc. Basically activation function is used to help in deciding if the neuron would fire or not that means if the neuron will output anything or not in the current layer. What is stride? Basically in this image filter is taking one step equivalent to one pixel. So it is stride one movement. Stride 2 will be something like this where at each step is 2 pixel shifting. Convolution in RGB image. In the case of RGB image, convolutional happens in all channel images i.e. red, green and blue channel. In this case filter is expressed as a matrix, mxmx3, with a smaller dimension but the same depth as the input image. In the case of 2D grayscale image convolution happens element-wise multiplication and then addition in the plane whereas in RGB or 3D image convolution happens element-wise multiplication and then addition in volume i.e. height, width and depth. What is padding? The process of adding zeros around the eaters of the image is called padding. When convolution is done the output image reduces in size. Sometimes we need the output image to have same size as input image and for that purpose padding is done. What is pooling layer? 
The pooling layer helps in reducing size of the convolved feature or output image after convolution. This is done to decrease the computational resource through dimensionality reduction, extracting dominant features which are rotational and positional invariant. Max pooling and average pooling are two types of pooling. What is max pooling? It returns the maximum value from the portion of the image covered by the filter. What is average pooling? It returns the average of all the values from the portion of the image covered by the filter. Fully connected layer, FC layer. This is basically the last layer of the network, it is a nonlinear combination of the high-level features in the second last layer which is basically the output of the convolutional layer. So now how does CNN works? 1. It is a network architecture of many convolutional layers and pooling layers and fully connected layer. 2. As already explained convolutional layers helps in extracting low-level features like edges in image and high-level features which gives more understanding of the image. 3. Pooling layers helps in reducing the noise from the data and thus reducing computational power to process the data. 4. Now comes the fully connected layer which helps in predicting the classes we want to predict. Say we want to predict the 0 to 9 digit in the image. So it is a 10 class multi-classification problem. Different architectures of CNN. Based on different permutation and combinations of convolutional layers and pooling layers, we have some of the architectures which are pretrained on different datasets. They are Lenit, AlexNet, Vignet, GoogleNet, ResNet, etc. So how will CNN look like? Some of the examples are shown. Thanks for watching this video. And do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Have a nice day.